Let's go over how you can draw dashed and dotted lines using Affinity Designer. I'm going to grab my pen tool over here in the toolbar, or you can access it by pressing the letter P on the keyboard. I'll click to add a point, hold the Shift key, bring the line straight across my screen, and then click again to add another point. And now we have a line that we can turn into a dotted or dashed line. So let me come over here to the selection tool, come up here to your stroke tab, and where it says width, let's increase that a little bit to make the width a little larger. Now, as it stands right now, this stroke is just a solid line. We can change it to a dotted or dashed line by coming up here to the stroke menu and clicking this button that says dash line style. To change the style of the dash line, we can come down here to the caps and we can choose squared caps or rounded caps. For this demonstration, I will choose rounded caps. And then down here, you can change the size of the dashes and the size of the space between the dashes. So this first input, input value represents the size of the dashes. I'll change this to five, and you can see those dashes get a lot larger. The second input represents the space between the dashes. So I can make this a little larger, say three, and now you can see these dashes have more space between them. And the other input fields represent variances in the line. So if you want to add other dashes, you can create somewhat of a pattern from them. And then finally, you can enable this button right here, which is enabled by default, which says balance dash pattern. If I enable that, you can see what happens. The pattern is no longer balanced, but if I have that enabled, we have an equal number of dashes going throughout. So as it stands, we have a dashed line right now. If we wanted to turn this into a dotted line, all we have to do is take the first value and make this as small as possible. So if I make this one, for example, we get much smaller dashes. Now, if I want to make this even more rounded, I can make this even smaller. I can go with 0.4, for example, and we get even smaller dots there. And if I want to have a higher density of dots, I would just decrease the spacing between these dots. So I would bring this down to maybe 0.5 and you get that sort of effect right there. Maybe I'll add a little more in there. And there you go, you get the idea. Now let's go over how you can apply a dashed or dotted line to an already existing object. For this example, I'll click on this object right here, which already has a solid white stroke applied to it. And I'll convert this to a dashed line by simply clicking the dashed line setting in the stroke menu. And just like that, we have turned that solid line into a dashed line. 